Hello and welcome back to our channel. We often come across questions asking us what exactly is meant by infrastructure. Even though most people seem to understand, some people who may not be native English speakers find it difficult to grasp what is specifically meant by infrastructure. This short video attempts to give a simple explanation. Let's start by looking at a definition from the dictionary. Here is a definition from the Oxford Dictionary. The basic physical and organisational structures and facilities, for example, buildings, roads, power supplies, needed for the operation of a society or enterprise. Example usage is the social and economic infrastructure of a country. Here is another definition from the Collins Dictionary. The infrastructure of a country, society or organisation consists of the basic facilities, such as transport, communications, power supplies and buildings, which enable it to function. Example usage includes investment in infrastructure, or the infrastructure from hotels to transport is old and decrepit. In a simple telecom network, the infrastructure would consist of all the physical, hardware and software components that can be used by the mobile operator, service provider, to provide services. Another way to describe an infrastructure is that it is a physical network that can be used by service providers to provide services. Let's understand with the help of some examples. First, we should clarify the difference between service providers or SP and mobile network operator or MNO. Service providers are also known as telecommunication service providers, TSP, or communication service providers, CSP. Basically, they refer to someone who provides services. A common example would be the internet service providers or ISP who provide internet via cable or ADSL or fiber, etc. Cable TV providers providing TV and other broadcast content were originally referred to as cable service providers. Mobile network operators are also referred to as mobile service providers, MSP or wireless service providers, WSP. In this presentation, we are using the generic term service provider rather than specific terms like MNO or ISP. You'll soon see why. Let's look at a simple scenario that probably applies to most mobile networks. The mobile network SP1 is using infrastructure from infrastructure provider IA to provide services. In this case, the infrastructure company could belong to the same company or it can be another company. An example of this could be the Indian mobile network Reliance Geo. To be able to reach quickly and cost effectively to different parts of India, Geo started rolling out Geo Gigafiber. This allows them to connect their mobile towers quickly and also provide additional services to the end users. As you can see, they are providing services like home automation, home surveillance, landline phone, cable TV, broadband, etc. Here, the interesting aspect is that while Reliance Geo, the mobile network, started doing their own backhaul infrastructure, they realized that it would be beneficial in the long run to demerge that business. This can allow them to bring additional investment and also provide services to others, even competitors. It would then be easier to recover the investment costs. As a result, Geo Digital Fiber Private Limited was born. Telstra is another example of scenario one. They used to do their infrastructure themselves, but back in June 2018, decided to separate businesses to hold infrastructure assets. Telstra Infoco is responsible for key fixed network assets and for managing Telstra's existing relationships with their more than 200 wholesale customers and also long-term strategic relationship with NBN Co. The infrastructure company is accountable for Telstra's copper and HFC networks. All the fiber network that is not dedicated to supporting mobiles, all ducts, pits and pipes, property including exchange buildings and data centers, and international and domestic subsea cables. As you can see in the picture, these assets from Telstra were originally combined with Telstra Wholesale and the teams in Telstra Operations that provide services to NBN Co. In case you were wondering, NBN Co Limited is an Australian government-owned corporation tasked to design, build and operate Australia's national broadband network, NBN, as a monopoly wholesale broadband provider. 
NVN provides broadband access predominantly to retail service providers, RSPs. These businesses then sell access to end users, both residential and business customers, to access the internet. This is a slide from our first ever video. As you can see, the mobile network consists of buildings, data centers, network equipment, fiber and other backhaul connectivity equipment, cables, connectors, antennae, etc. These are all infrastructure. We generally refer to everything tangible as infrastructure. Some people go a step forward and refer to the knowledge people have based on experience as intangible infrastructure. We won't go into this right now. Scenario two is basically the same as scenario one. We wanted to show this so we can further explain scenario three. In scenario three, you can see that the service provider SP3 uses infrastructure for multiple companies. In this example, we have only shown two, but it could be more than two. US operators are good examples of scenario three. In addition to having parts of infrastructure themselves, they also have to partner with multiple tower companies due to the large geography and different rules for different states and counties. AT&T, for example, has been working with multiple partners for tower leases and infrastructure deployment. Some names include Tillman Infrastructure, Crown Castle and City Switch. Our final scenario is of a couple of SPs using infrastructure from the same infrastructure company. I see in this case. The UK has a tower market structure unlike any other in the world, according to Tower Exchange. There are four mobile network operators, EE owned by BT, Vodafone, O2 owned by Telefonica, and three owned by the Hutchison Group. Independent tower co's headed by Arkiva, Wireless Infrastructure Group and Shear Group own 38% of the 38,500 active towers in the UK. The balance is contained within the two joint venture infrastructure companies or Infocos. CTIL, also known as Cornerstone, which operates Vodafone and O2's network and MVNL, which performs a similar function for EE and 3. CTIL and MVNL are both the primary clients of the UK's independent tower co's and site sharing businesses in their own right. Their primary business models differ in that the tower assets are actually on CTIL's balance sheet, while MBNL is a management company with the assets retained by the MNOs. CTIL is a passive infrastructure sharing play, while MBNL's model extends to active infrastructure and transmission sharing. So we hope that this small presentation gave you an idea about what is meant by infrastructure and how it is used by different service providers. We were very focused on mobile networks, but similar principles apply for other service providers, such as ISPs or WISPs. As always, comments and suggestions are very much appreciated. Thank you.